Hello guys, this is Avcore, and I want to talk about Susie and Susan. Um, what is there to say about these guys? Um, PvP unit, definitely. Definitely. But let's talk about the core of them, like underneath all the stuff that you're going to hear other people say, other content creators talk about. First of all, she is a dark wizard. And with that in mind, that is where her value starts. She is in a great pool of dark wizards already. We have three good, including her, we have three good dark wizards. So you'll begin to see like a lot of teams start shaping around her. As I will actually show you two of them that are part of her group. And then I'll discuss why this is important for the long term of the game. And when you build your teams in PvP. So let's talk about her stats first. You'll notice that her defense is a bit low at C. That is not good. Um, that's one of the weakest aspects of her character. People will overlook this, but this is a glaring weakness. As physical DPS AOE will become a thing in the future. So this will hurt her prospects in long term. Like Belek, that B on her defense is pretty important because the HP is good. But the defense is bad, and that's never a good thing. But she comes with a whopping mass of magic attack stat, and that's what, that'll be her saving grace, along with her concentration and her magic defense. Her HP is solid at B. So overall, she has the stats that she needs in order to do the job that you're asking her to do. The thing is, your positioning is important, because if she's not guarded or if she gets hit by too many AoEs, she will disappear milk like a snowman so sad but everything is where it's supposed to be as far as the dps aspect goes but let's talk about some of her friends that she has and then we'll go into the website and we'll talk about her more in depth because they have english translations there uh, let's, let's go here so we can just like find them real quick The first one I would like to talk about is this guy. This guy is a great AOE debuff unit. This will be one of her companions in a dark AOE squad. So keep him in mind if you're looking to build her. He's free and he's easy to use. Another character that I would like to talk about is... This is another dark wizard, a great debuffer, DPS unit. When you combine these three on the same team, it's going to be hard for the opponent in order to position properly as they all have strong AoEs. So I'm just letting you know for team composition, these two characters round out a unique dark squad of wizards. I can't believe they would do this so early, but if you have the resources, this one, this one, they make an amazing combination. And let's go into depth why they make a great combination. We'll go into the website and talk about her there because she does actually do well. So we're going to pop into the website. So give me one second. All right. So we're in the website. And you actually can see that she is a darkness mage. Like I said before. And her unique passive, which is going to define her for the rest of her lifespan, is infinite terror. It increases her magic attack and magic defense when attacking targets inflicted with a debuff. Like I said... Both of those dark wizards that I mentioned, besides her, all inflict debuffs. So, let me just go back real quick. Let's go to, uh, let's go to dark. Let's go to wizards. And you'll see that Hassan, Catherine, and Susie, and Susan 
all inflict sub substantial debuffs. And we'll even, I'll even, let's just take this off. Take that off. Let's put Warrior there. Even Peacock benefits from this type of squad. So if you're going a full DPS squad, no tank, and one healer, Peacock will actually work in a squad like that. So that's something to keep in mind when you're building these units, that they work well together. And Susan and Susie and Susan actually are the foundation for a really strong debuff team. And you have the tools to create one now, which is really scary. At the end of the turn, inflicts one to two random debuffs on random enemies within so many tiles. Like I said, she is the foundation for a strong debuff team. It's, she's pretty much like Bozel and Landgressor. And she even comes with her own like meter passive, which is basically faction buff. So she's basically Bozel, except she doesn't have some of the mechanics that make Bozel unique. But she doesn't need them because she is so overwhelmingly strong. She has her own mechanics. And with Catherine and Hassan, there's really no reason if you don't have the money to make a team like that. And even Twin Darkness, she needs two dark allies, which Hassan and Catherine provide that. And once again, it increases your physical attack, magic attack, and defense by 10%. Allies deal 15% increased damage against targets with three or more debuffs. So once again, it's playing into that theme of debuffs. So this is a really good character. I'm kind of sad that I, I don't have... Oh, on Global, when I start spending money, I will definitely get this character. Because debuffs go a long way, even in PvE content, debuffs go a long way. So I want everybody to consider that with this character. That much like Bozo, her lifespan will supersede other characters because she is able to consistently hand out debuffs, which will weaken boss characters in PvP and PvE content. And we're beginning to see that with this new tower that debuffs are really important. So Poison Curse, you deal magic damage to a single target. If the target has two or more debuffs, inflict stun, which is pretty good. If the target has two or less debuffs, inflict two debuffs on him instead. It, that's pretty good. Person po Poison Curse is good. It, it, it's looking really good for her. At the end of action, inflict exhaustion, exhaustion for one turn on the nearest enemy within seven tiles. Another easy way to put down. There, there's better passes, but this is solid. Vampiric Bolt, you deal 1.5 magic damage to a single enemy, recover your own HP. This is like Dark Dark Sickle or Dark Scythe from Lana and, and Landgressor where you attack and you heal yourself. So Vampiric Bolt is going to be pretty good. Um, I just don't like the cooldown though. The cooldown is pretty hard. Three turns, that's pretty hard for a single target attack. That's, that's kind of hard to eat. Teleport a selected, teleport to a selected empty tile and gain an additional action. This is pretty busted. This is where you saw her when she warped and she dropped down. This is her attack combined with uh, her passive. So that's what you saw. And she can attack. This is really good. This is probably going to be one cost. So this is why this is not going to be as great. Because you have this one cost skill that you're probably going to use all the time. Curse of Uncleanness. Yeah, two costs, cooldown three turn, that's pretty high. Deal one magical damage to enemies in range and apply pollution. Can't obtain buffs, that's really good. And it also counts as a debuff. This is really solid, that's really solid. So you'll be using that a lot. If target has two or more debuffs, increase damage done to them by 20%. Power of Darkness, yeah, that's that's good, but... It, it, with, with, twin, with Twin Darkness and... Yeah, it's, that's going to be kind of hard. Because you're only going to have three skills. You're going to want two attacking skills. Yeah, so that's going to be hard. Because you're going to have to wage a twin deception with power of darkness. So that's going to be kind of tough. One will be good in one situation. One will be good in the other. Because you can't look that down. When you increase damage by 20% for such a low cost, it's kind of hard to look over. But people are going to want to use twin deception. But... I think this is just as good. Sorcerer's Curse. Deal 1.5 magic damage to enemies in range of like one random debuff. Mage enemies are also... 
Wow, that's really good. So if she hits a maze, wow, that's really good. She's getting two debuffs. The three turns on this one is okay because the range itself. So you teleport, you drop this down. That's pretty good. Silent, you can't use active skills. That's going to cuck a lot of people. That's going to cuck a lot of wizards. Wow, that's pretty good. Uh, Blood Curse. and Deal 1.5 magic damage to a single target. Inflict them with unhealable. That's really good. Before battle, if target has two more debuffs, this skill get wow that's pretty good that's pretty good wow wow that's really good blood curse yeah they're gonna probably have that on that's at 55 most people won't see that for a while but this is her ultimate man that's nasty that's really nasty especially when you afflict them with an unhealable before battle that's really nasty <laughs> this this chick is busted both of these characters are super good. Man, that's that's nasty. Anybody, and, and the cooldown two turns, come on, dude. That's kind of busted. I would have, you would expect it to be three three turns of cooldown for something so powerful because that's a single target skill. Wow, that's nasty. Oh my gosh. Uh, tears of Resentment. You get, wow, that's pretty good. Look at the stats on this. You get four magic attack and four HP, two of the stats you really want. And then you get HP and magic attack at that. Wow, that's pretty good. Increases damage done by 1% for each debuff, <laughs> affecting the target when attacking with the active attack up to 5%. At the end, the active recovery of 3%. Of, wow! Wow! That's insane! Wow! Huh! <laughs> Man, that's stupid. This chick is stupid. Wow. I can't believe they made a character like this. It's so busted. We just got started. Why? Oh, wow. Why? There's a lot of good stuff she's doing. And she's already got two characters, dark wizards, that do debuffs. So, we're gonna, so the meta is already shaping around dark wizards. And I knew it was going to shape be shaped around dark wizards but not this fast this is really fast dude and light light doesn't even have the same type of synergy that dark is being presented with this character because she's a lynch pinch character so when you look at Susie and susan she's a lynch pinch character that she is actually going to shape the meta in a way that benefits dark wizards and peacock should see a little more time especially when we start getting a band pick system where you pick certain units and you ban certain units um peacock is going to see some time it's kind of weird that peacock is actually going to be good because characters like susie and susan and Catherine and hassan exist that provide her with the environment where there's going to be a lot of debuffs for her to get her 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 mechanics working so that's pretty interesting but anyways if you like my content the like share subscribe button i'll get back to you have a great one and later